Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is going to be for the Legacy GT and it is a short shifter, specifically from eBay. This is all will work for other brand of short shifters that are the similar style, uh, but I seem to really love my eBay short shifters. This is going to be the third one now on the channel. Uh, we did one on the Impreza, we did one on the SDI, and now the Legacy. This install should work for, I'm not sure about Impreza's because I know mine was different. I tried one like this, it didn't work. But I do know it'll work for our Legacy GT and it should work for WRX's, I believe up to 2014. I'll write in the description what it will work for. That's what I think it is, but just to confirm, I'll leave it in the description. Let's go ahead and show you the box this came in and what else came with the kit. All right guys, inside the car, obviously I have the short shifter here. This is the box it came in. As you can expect, this is your eBay special box. So inside the box, you get the bushings and you get this hardware here. I have installed these bushings specifically in the STI and I have also installed the rear one right here in the Impreza. So I have one in the Impreza, one in the STI and I have these in the STI. Now I wouldn't mind installing this one, but I'm not going to bother because the Impreza here has it. So I'm eventually just going to sell it from the Impreza and throw it in. But if you're interested in how to install this, I do have it on my STI video, which is right there. And also on the channel, these bushings specifically, I'm, ne I'm not going to install it in general or at all. Um, I did it in the STI and I found it created a lot of NVH, uh, which is noise, vibration, harshness. Uh, it just created a lot of noise coming from this general area of the transmission, which makes sense. The bushings that are rubber reduce the noise. You put in these solid polyurethane ones and it makes it very loud. Again, I do have these bushings right here in the SDI, but honestly, one day I might remove them. Um, it's something I thought I would like. And honestly, it's cool and all for a bit, but it does kind of get annoying after a while. I'd rather just hear the exhaust and not hear just noise. I just would rather not hear that noise. I'd rather just hear the exhaust. So enough chit-chatting, let's go ahead and get this bad boy thrown in. All right, so before I tear this out, I like to kind of measure the throw and kind of see what the original was compared to the after. It's roughly lined up to two inches, but if I go into third, it's about an inch and a quarter throw. And if I go to fourth, about an inch and a quarter, almost an inch and a half. So it definitely has a good amount of throw on it. I'm hoping once we put the new one in, this throw is reduced quite a bit and it's a lot more notchy. Go ahead, get this torn apart. I'm gonna start with just removing the shift knob, but honestly, this process is really not that difficult. Pretty sure we can just pull up on this, just like so. And we pretty well have access to it. You can go ahead and unclip that. Okay, so with the trim unclipped, go ahead, take a flathead, unscrew these little white screws or whatever. You can probably pull them up, to be honest. This should just come right up. So to remove the original shifter, it's a couple of 12 mils. So throw one on one side, throw one on the other. Inside, there's a snap ring. So you're gonna need a snap ring plier, like so. You can try doing it with like a flat head and stuff, but it's gonna be a hard time. So grab yourself a snap head plier, find the snap ring. I honestly can't see it. There's so much grease in there. So I'm gonna clean it out real quick. You can barely see it, just right there. Fought me for a while, but I got it. So the snap ring's off. You can see it there. It's disgusting. So I'm just going to pull this out. <laughs> that came out. And the other part launched onto my seat, luckily on the box. So I didn't get grease on my seat. So I'm going to go ahead, take this, and put this assembly on the other uh, short shifter. With the shifter side by side, you see the OEM one and the eBay uh, short shifter. Uh, I can tell this section right here is the same. The ball size is the same. So because right here is longer than OEM, that will shorten the throw. And also what makes a short shifter shorter is obviously the threads up here are, are at least like, I don't know, about an inch shorter. 
Um, I also did remove this black thread that was on the original shifter. If you have the OEM shift knob, you don't have to worry about this. This was only on there because I had an aftermarket shift knob. I'm not using this no more, so don't worry about it. Uh, so all we gotta do now is essentially put this section on there, as well as with the O-ring clip, which I am gonna clean up a bit. So this just goes over. And this part right here, give it a quick cleaning. So I'm gonna go ahead, apply some new lube to it. Should be good to go. So back inside the car, we can take our short shifter with all the goodies on it, push it back in. With that in, now we gotta take our snap pliers, or snap ring pliers, line it up with the snap ring. Okay, that took a lot longer than I'd like to admit. Should be able to go into place now. So I've been fighting this for a while, to be honest. Basically, these this fork right here, this metal fork that goes around the short shifter, I had to pry it apart, and I've been basically trying to lift it and fight it into there. It's just a little bit bigger than the original one. <laughs> That's essentially what's going on. So I'm gonna keep going with this. We might be hitting the back plate right there, so I might have to trim this as well. We're no longer in the car with it, and basically what it is, is if I put these side by side, the spacing here and here, like that spacing, that spacing, it's pretty spot on. It's a little different, but it's not bad. Is this hard plastic washer or, or spacer, whatever you want to call it, grommet. Uh, it was too thick. And basically it's thicker than this one and the light gray one is OEM the dark gray is the aftermarket one so it was just way too thick so I'm in the process of hammering this out um, it's not when it comes so I'm gonna melt it out see if I can get it out and then I'll go ahead and throw the OEM uh, bushings or whatever inside the aftermarket one and our problem should be resolved well it worked uh, that's the old bushings all melted out and I now have the original OEM one in, and it fits good, except there's a little bit of play. See that? So it might be better if you guys do this just to kind of sand down that bushing on the sides and make it the same width of the OEM one, rather than just melting it out. I'm hoping once I put it in place and clamp it down, it's gonna hold it pretty, pretty good. I'm sure it won't be that noticeable if I really crank it down. It's just uh, unfortunate, I guess. Okay, so we are basically installed. Um, you can see it's shorter. If I put the clutch in, I can go through the gears, but I am having a problem. So basically what's happening is, as I go through the gears, uh, this rod right here, or this arm, whatever you want to call it, it's hitting this plate right here. Might be difficult to see, but it is hitting it. So we got to take out this plate. It's just a couple, uh, I believe 12 mil, I think four 12 mils should pop right out. And I got to cut right here out with a grinder. Once we put the plate back in, should be good to go.
as you can see, I cut it a little bit. And now when I go over, everything clears. We don't got to worry about nothing hitting. Uh, something I am going to do is I'm going to throw some lube down in there. Just so if rubber is rubbing on the, on the arm, it doesn't make so much noise. As you can see, it does make a little bit of noise. So I'll go ahead, lube her up. I went ahead and greased her up. She makes no noise now, other than, you know, the shifting. Which is nice. So we can go ahead, throw it all back together. I'm not throwing this Mishimoto shift knob back on. It is pretty nice. It's like this gloss chrome, like it's pretty heavy too. I'm not throwing it back on. I'm going back to Oreliable and that's my billets work uh, shift knob that I got. I don't even know how long ago now, uh, but this was the shift knob that was from my Impreza and I just do not want to part with it. It's something I want to keep around just to kind of remind me of my old Impreza. So nice thing about this one is billet works already has it kind of like the machine threaded part that goes into their shift knob um, and then this part right here allows it to kind of get all snug and nice like how it was oem so let's go ahead throw it on i have been driving the car around now for a couple of weeks and I have to say the short shifter does feel a lot notchier. You just throw it in and out of gears, no problem. I really like it. I really think it's worth like, you know, the install. Um, it is an eBay one. Some people might question that, but I think it's worth it. It was like 70 bucks with the bushings. You can probably get them cheaper without the bushings. I know I did not install the bushings and that's just because of uh, NVH. It's just, it's loud. I don't really want it for a daily. Let me show you the difference in the throw. It'd be difficult to see, but I do have it roughly at three inches, which is where I think it was. Um, I don't know. I think it's about a quarter inch shorter. It does have a shorter throw. It might be difficult to show that on camera with the measuring tape. I, I do have a different shift knob on there, so that might kind of throw off the measurement, but I do feel like it went down about a quarter inch of a throw, and I can honestly say it does feel a lot better. Now, that being said, probably not the shortest shifter on the market, but I think for how cheap it was, it's definitely worth the price. So I do highly recommend the shifter. Obviously, you can't get other short throw shifters out there. Uh, but I just seem to be suckered into these eBay ones. Now, that being said, I'm not saying the eBay one is better than other ones out there. There's definitely a lot of good companies out there making short shifters. It's just, it's in my budget. I couldn't really beat it. Couldn't really argue about it. I think it's decent for what you're paying. So, you know, there's probably better stuff on the market. It is what it is. I installed it. Feels good. Better than what it was. Can't complain. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it there's gonna be more content coming shortly uh a sneak peek actually yes that is a newer wrx steering wheel in the legacy and everything works that means volume control cruise control the only thing i'm having issues with is bluetooth but i'll show you guys how to do that in the next video but for now please feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe take it easy